Cougars! Welcome to week four of your online library classroom. This week, I'm going to get us started by sharing that I am receiving a lot of thoughtful and creative answers to last week's assignment, which was to read the two concrete poems by Bob Razka and tell me for each poem what the poem is about and how arranging the arrangement of the letters and words adds to the meaning of the poem. I have decided that I am not going to share the answers yet in my video lesson. Instead, you can look for those answers on your actual assignment responses. So once you've submitted your assignment to Google Classroom, I will read your answers and then post the review in the private comments section of your assignment. And in my next weekly video lesson, at that point, I will share the answers in a video. This week, we're going to continue on celebrating poetry during National Poetry Month, the month of April, and continuing on with learning about concrete poems. This week, we are going to hear a concrete poem that is arranged in a less obvious way. The image is more subtle, and I am going to show you what the page looks like. You may decide you need to pause that page for a longer look or pause the video. Um, and I'm going to ask you to listen to the poem, look at the page, and then think about and tell me in the comments section in Google Classroom what you think this poem is about and how the author's arrangement of the lines in the poem and the words themselves add a little bit to the meaning of the poem. We're going to hear a poem today from A Light in the Attic, Poems and Drawings by Shel Silverstein. This copy is a copy that I received as a gift in third grade. It's been with me a long time. It's nice to have a use for it again. The title of the poem is Rhino Pen, and here is the page. Let me see, can you see it? There we go. So you may want to pause here. All right. Rhino Pen. Tell me then, of all you've seen, what could be more preposterous than forgetting your pen and writing a theme with the horn of a patient rhinoceros. So it's a short concrete poem with a subtle message in the arrangement of the letters. I look forward to hearing your answers in the private comment section in the Google Classroom assignment drop box. And then for those of you um, already thinking about your concrete poems that you are being asked to create yourself, Actually, some of you have already sent in examples of your own original concrete poems or ideas for topics. Awesome. Um, and if you haven't, that's fine. Today, I'm going to share that um, I'm actually going to assign that. So what I would like now is for you to share your poetry topic with me in Google Classroom of, by creating a Google document. So I want you to create a Google document and I want you to title that document with your last name and then also the words concrete poem. So I know who it belongs to and what I'm going to read when I open that document. And then inside that document, I want you to type your topic idea. What do you want to write your concrete poem about? And that's all I'm looking for this week, is that shared document with your topic inside of it. I'm asking you to make this document because in the future weeks, that is where we will be creating those concrete poems, and that's where I will be giving you individual feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message in Google Classroom, and I look forward to seeing all of your wonderful concrete poetry ideas. Until next time.